Shiite Muslim cleric Moqtada al Sadr's party was the biggest winner in Iraq's election on Monday, increasing the number of seats he holds in parliament, according to initial results, officials and a spokesperson for Sadrist movement. But former Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki looked set to have the next largest win among Shiite parties, the initial results has showed. Iraq has started vote counting on Monday, a day after record low turnout in the country's parliamentary election. Many Iraqis said it reflected a loss of faith in the country's democratic process and political class. The Electoral Commission said the turnout in Sunday's election was 41 percent, with the lowest figure in Baghdad, between 31 and 34 percent. The election was held in response to mass protest in 2019 that demanded jobs, services, the removal of Iraq's ruling parties and overhaul of the political system. Security forces and militias killed hundreds of protesters in a brutal crackdown. The established Shiite Islamist-dominated ruling elite is expected to sweep the vote. The movement led by popular Shiite cleric Muqtada al sadr who opposes all foreign interference, is seen emerging as the biggest single party in parliament. Its main rivals, the Iran-backed parties, which are accused of involvement in killing protesters in 2019, are expected to lose some seats according to Iraqi officials, foreign diplomats and analysts' prediction. They say such result would not dramatically alter the balance of power in Iraq or the wider Middle East. The country has held five parliamentary elections since the US-led invasion of Iraq in 2003 that toppled dictator Saddam Hussein. But most ordinary Iraqis say their lives have not improved even during the relative peace since Islamic State was defeated in 2017. Large parts of Iraq's infrastructure lie in disrepair, and there is inadequate health care, education and basic services, especially electricity. Initial election results are expected on Monday. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.